I hope everyone is doing well and that you are having a blessed day. I am here with our next project and I kind of jumped the gun before I turned the camera on so I apologize. I will backtrack. Today I am using some beautiful tone on tone 10 inch squares to make be the foundation of my blocks and we are going to be doing a raw edge frayed edge applique of flowers and then woven blocks. We're going to return to my lovely woven blocks. The layer cake that I am using today is this one right here. It is called Petal Power, Me and My Sister's Design. There are 42 squares, 10 inch squares in here. I can scroll through them for you here so you can enjoy them. They are just luscious. I just love them. They're gorgeous. So these are the flowers, and I love these guys. These are just so cool. So there's that, and then a wild stripe. Some of these. So it's lots and lots and lots of fun. Okay, so those are the fabrics we're using. And I am making freehand cut flowers. So for the large piece in the back, I went down about an inch, inch and a quarter, and just drew a free form petal, cut it out, and then unfolded it. And then for the middle piece, I did about somewhere between an inch and a half and two inch. These are actually an uh, inch and three quarter. Again, then I'm marking a spot with my pricks on here and here, and then I'm just drawing a freeform petal shape and then cutting it out. For the very centers, I took several of these. I couldn't have made a better center, so I said, why not use these funky flowers? I absolutely adore them. So I just cut them out, and for these, I'm going to sew about a quarter of an inch, half an inch away from the edge, and I might double stitch it just so I know that it's secure and let that fray on its own. Okay, so then these will get pieced down, sewn down here, and again, you know, I might do internal cuts and then sew them and let them fray up. So that will be one block. This quilt is going to be, be laid out three by four. So we're going to need six of the flower blocks and we will need one, two, three, six of the alternate blocks and the alternate blocks will be strips sewn down and they will be woven down the center and then let the edges fray. And these were actually cut from all the scraps that I made from the flowers. So what I'm doing on the straps is I'm making sure that I cut it larger than I need. So about an inch. These are three quarter. And then what I'm doing is I'm turning it around and I'm trimming this edge to get rid of the pink edge. Because the pink edge will not fray. So we want it to fray. We want it to get fuzzy. So, and of course then you'll have woven. So I'll start by sewing down one edge of the strips and then I will weave them as I go up and sew them down. I am going to shorten the stitch length to about 1.75 millimeter to make sure everything's nice and tight. I have put a for a free form sewing foot on my sewing machine and I'm using white thread on the top and on the bottom. I'm just going slow, taking my time. 
And if it doesn't match the curve exactly, don't worry about it. This will all fray. Inaccuracies are not going to show up. If it's not exactly a quarter inch away, don't worry. Just enjoy the process with your machine. If you would prefer to pin, please pin. If you know me, you know I don't use pins because I end up stabbing myself. And I get really hurt. There we go. So there is the first edge. And I am going to do some internal seams here. Let's see. Yes, definitely. Yep, and then they will fray also. And they'll kind of raise this up a wee bit and they'll fray and it should fill in nicely. There we go. And I think that should be enough. So there's two rows of stitching and then what I will do is I will very carefully use a pair of small scissors and I will cut right in here. And if you're at all worried that there might be the stitches may not hold them down securely, then you can always go over the stitch again. We can go over it a second time. And if you use a bit more gas, your stitch will be a little bit shorter. There we go. So that is definitely held down nicely. And because we are cutting along here, this fullness will work out. This The blocks may end up being slightly smaller because of all the take up, especially the woven blocks, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. And just eyeball centering it if they're a little off, that's perfectly fine. Flowers are not perfect. And... back to the start and I think what I'll do is I'll do another internal circle and then slit that in between and then we'll sew this one down and I always wrap the top thread around my finger when I start because I don't want to have any problems with the thread getting sucked into the machine or Okay, so now what I'll do is I will go cut around this before I sew this down. And I'm just going to use these little scissors here. You don't want to cut the backing fabric, obviously. That would not be good. Elves out of the way, so I'm just going to make a small snip like that. And now I can get the bottom of my scissors through the hold and we're just going to snip around and just pull that back There we go. There we go. And now we're going to snip in between this line, these two lines of stitching the same way we just did, and then we'll sew the center flower on. We can take a brush. I have a brush here that I use to clean my sewing machine. And we can try roughing up the edges a wee bit and see what it looks like. See that? You can already see what it's going to look like. Okay, it's getting a little fuzzies on it. So. Okay. So that is cut, and you can see the back. 
and it's completely up to you if you want to cut this layer as well. You can do that. There we go. So there is the first block. Let me go give it a good pressing and I will come back. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, Campbell.